Hello, my name is Jason. Welcome to my channel, Small Optics. Now, in this video, um, I'd like to show you how to use Cassiopeia uh, to point to two of my favorite nighttime objects. Now, to find Cassiopeia, um, all you have to do is uh, go outside on a clear night and face north, okay? Now, depending on what time of year it is, it will be on how high it will be above the horizon. Now, such as now, um, as the time of recording this video, the 1st of January, um, it is virtually directly above you after, uh, after sunset, okay? So if you go out after sunset, face north, and then just look straight up, uh, you will see Cassiopeia. Now, it's a really distinctive constellation. It's a bright constellation, Cassiopeia, and it is a distinctive W or an upside down capital M, however you, you want to look at it. Okay, the first target. Um, you're outside, you're looking at Cassiopeia. Okay, now I want you to uh, pick out the middle star of the W, if you like, which is um, Gamma, Cassiopeia. Okay, and then we want the star below it, okay, um, which is Delta Cassiopeia. I prefer the abbreviated, uh, better than pronouncing all the uh, other names that they could be called. Um, okay, now that distance between those two stars, okay, now we've already got an imaginary line on the picture. Now imagine extending that imaginary line, okay, the same distance as, those two, st as th those two stars, sorry, okay? And right just there is our first target, the Perseus double cluster. Now, the thing is about the uh, Perseus double cluster is it's one of those uh, targets that actually you can see with the naked eye. Now, you are going to need really good dark, clear skies, uh, you know, no light pollution, and uh, you can actually pick them out as a, you know, to, uh, like a, a fuzzy patch in the sky. Now, obviously, put some magnification on them and they look fantastic. Now, this is where binoculars really do come into play, okay? If you do have a pair of binoculars, then uh, th this is when you need to get them out and have a look at uh, the double cluster. It looks fantastic through binoculars. Um, and the reason being, it is a quite a large uh, to, um, double cluster. Obviously, you're looking at two clusters. And to get them all in the same field of view, uh, uh, telescopically, if you're going to use a telescope, it can be, you know, quite a struggle, um, unless, obviously, you use a uh, nice low-powered eyepiece with a wide field of view, okay? So, you know, a 32 or something like that is ideal, 32 millimeter eyepiece. But um, if not, like I say, binoculars are, are, are just fantastic because you've already got that nice wide field of view. Now, uh, don't be put off when you do actually find it. Now, using this method, like I've showed you, uh, this star hopping from Cassiopeia, you can't miss it, really. Uh, but it's not going to look like um, I'm showing here in the picture here, this amazing picture. This is done with long time exposure, okay? Now, visually, it's gonna look something more like this. Okay, and um, again, like I say, don't be disappointed by what you're looking at. You're looking at something um, around about 4,500 light years away <laughs> with uh, several hundred stars in each cluster. And even though they look quite close uh, together, um, the, again, there's a, a few hundred light years between uh, the two clusters. Now, if we look at these three stars of Cassiopeia, you'll see that they form like a triangle uh, or an arrow, okay? Uh, and now that arrow points to another fantastic target in the night sky, okay? Now, this time, what we're gonna do is take the length of Cassiopeia, okay? Uh, measure it with your fingers or something like that, okay? You can do the metal sound or something like that. Measure it and then take that measurement with that arrow, okay? So we've got our arrow from uh, Cassiopeia. We're gonna take the line, the length of the constellation and just move it across, okay? Now the end of that imaginary line now 
we come to M31, okay, the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, you may have seen pictures of Andromeda looking something like this, okay. Now, visually, uh, no matter how big the telescope is, you are never going to get pictures or, or see pictures like that, okay. Uh, that's done with long time exposure and uh, stack photographs. Okay, so through binoculars or a telescope of round about this size, it's going to look something like this. Okay, and uh, again, don't be disappointed uh, by what you see in there. You've got to uh, bear in mind that that is, well, you thought the uh, Perseus double cluster was quite far away at four and a half um, thousand light years away. Well, the Andromeda Galaxy is a whopping at two and a half million light years away. Okay, so when you do actually uh, get Andromeda in, the, in, in your eyepiece and you're looking at it, just bear in mind that the light that's hitting your eyes has taken two and a half million years to reach your eye. So on the next uh, clear night, go out and uh, find yourself a galaxy and a double cluster. Well, that's about it for another video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you see, I do do regular uploads for the uh, new astronomer. In the meantime, happy new year to you all, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.